Hey guys, what's up? This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll take a look at applying the popular Luma Fade Transition in Final Cut Pro using a couple different methods depending on the look you're going for. Everything shown in this video can be done directly in Final Cut Pro without having to download or install any plugins. The first method of applying the Luma Fade Transition is by modifying the built-in Cross Dissolve Transition. Let's try this between the first two clips in our timeline. Place your playhead between the clips, open up the Transitions browser, and select the Dissolves category. Drag and drop the Cross Dissolve Transition between your clips. Make sure the Transition clip is selected, and open up the Inspector by using the keyboard shortcut Command 4. From the Look drop-down menu, change the look of this transition from Video to Highlights. This changes your transition from simply cross-dissolving clips to dissolving the shadows first, followed by highlights, completely changing the look of this effect. Let's try using the same method, but using a different look this time. I'll place my playhead between my next two clips, and once again, from the Transitions browser, add the cross-dissolve transition between my clips. This time, from the Look drop-down menu, instead of Highlights, I'll select Shadows. This has the opposite effect, dissolving the highlights first, followed by the shadows. The look you choose to go with depends on the clips you're transitioning between, whatever looks better. You can also ripple trim the length of your transition clip to speed up or slow down the effect. While the last two methods appear as Luma Fades, the final method I'm going to show you today is a true Luma Fade using a Luma Keyer. Place your playhead between your two clips and go back 20 frames by holding down the Shift key and pressing the left arrow button twice. Next, click and drag your second clip and snap it to the playhead above your storyline. Place the playhead at the end of your first clip and with your top clip selected, press Command B to blade your clip. Click and drag the second part of your clip back down into your timeline and delete the gap clip Final Cut Pro created. Next, open your effects browser and scroll down to the keying category. Click and drag the Luma keyer effect and apply it to the clip connected above your timeline. Place the playhead at the start of your connected clip, select the clip and head up to the video inspector. In the Luma keyer box, click and drag the bottom slider all the way to the right. You should only see the bottom clip in the viewer. Add a keyframe here to the Luma slider. Next, move the playhead to the end of your connected clip and move the bottom and top Luma sliders all the way to the left. The highlights in your top clip will fade in first, followed by mid-tones and shadows for a cool effect that looks like this. You can also reverse this effect to fade in your shadows first, followed by mid-tones and highlights. To do this, same as before, place your playhead 20 frames from the end of your first clip and snap your second clip to the playhead. Blade your clip, drop the second part back into your timeline and delete the gap clip. Apply the Luma keyer to the top clip and in the inspector, before adjusting the Luma slider, select the invert checkbox. Now, with the playhead at the start of your connected clip, drag the bottom slider all the way to the left. Set a keyframe here. Move the playhead to the end of your connected clip and drag the bottom and top sliders all the way to the right. Let your clip render out and it should look something like this. Your shadows will fade in first, followed by mid-tones and highlights. The Luma Fade transition is very popular in all types of videos and, as you just seen, very easy to apply. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments below or by hitting the like button. If you're one of the few people still here at the end of this video, I have a favor to ask. As you may have noticed, in my video description, I have product links that take you to Amazon. These are affiliate links. If you're not sure how affiliate links work, anytime you click on a link to go to Amazon, I get a small percentage of any purchases you make during that session, not just the link products. This really helps me out at no extra cost to you. All the money made from affiliate sales goes directly to improving the quality of my videos. I've included product links for Amazon.com and Amazon.ca, so if you want to help me out, this would be a great way to do it. If not, no big deal. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.